welcome back to another Danny's World. <laughs> another week of silliness. I don't know what's on the docket. I'm feeling all right though, so just gonna take it from there. Um, yeah, still not great, but you know, if little improvement's good for me. Um, yeah, look, nail broke. Oh my god, it looks so weird under there too. Uh, so healthy, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, I'm on the way to the um, nail salon now, so yes. It's awesome, and yeah, I'm gonna go do that, get my nail repaired, maybe hit up a Walmart or two, um, or a store or something, uh, just do a check at least, and then yeah, that's about it for the docket today, work on some stuff when I get home, stuff like that, but yeah, some of the collection. Ugh. <laughs> But yeah, um, that's about it. So yeah, I'll show you my new nails after I get them done <laughs> and then yeah, see what else I do today. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Walmart, nails on fleek. Alrighty, um, yeah, so happy to my nails done. Eh, yes, little princess. Um, yeah, let's find where the toys are. Um, just follow your nose, Danny. That's covered up <laughs> with all the plastic. Um, yeah, you can see all the guys here. Basically nothing. The same old G.I. Joes, Ewoks, um, Baby Yodas for days. Uh, not very much for Black Series figures. I really don't need another uh, shore trooper. <laughs> and they have nothing else, sadly, so. Nah! Shore trooper is so tempting when you already have three. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shang-Chi wave or whatever, but, um, yeah, I got this Iron Man and the other one I wanted, so don't need anything from that wave. Um, yeah, they don't have a new McFarland figure in here ever, so not much to look forward to. Oh, Hot Rod. That's interesting. I've never seen a Hot Rod in the wild at Walmart before. Too bad I already bought three from <laughs> other places. <laughs> um, yeah. Kingdom Prim Primal, but, yeah, I already have it. Does not interest me. Of course they have Grimlocks. But yes, it's cool to see a Rodimus out in the wild. I mean, Cyberverse stuff, absolutely nothing. I don't even want to look at this stuff anymore. <laughs> They actually have some pops. I just found this new section by the movies, and they got some pops. I mean, I don't care, but I'm showing them, because <laughs> why not? These goodie bags. Oh, and they do have some McFarland stuff over here where no one's going to see it. Oh, yeah, I'll put that back, I promise. Um, They have the Spawn, Mortal Kombat. I mean, this is a McFarland section, Witcher. Never seen that guy before. Section. Um, These Warhammers look cool. I just, yeah, I can't get into that. Yeah, just out the side the Starbucks. I did not get anything from Walmart. They absolutely had nothing. So it was cool to see another Shore Trooper, but I have so many. And it was cool to see, like, you know, Optimus Primal, a Netflix part. I already have that. So I'm like, I don't need more. <laughs> Hey, just wanted to show off some stuff while I'm chilling. Um, yeah, I gotta go pick up some mail. Uh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge at the post office in a bit. But I wanted to show off some of the stuff I have now. And yeah, just because if I don't have enough time, I gotta work uh, tomorrow, Friday, and then um, yeah, Saturday will be on Tales of Teletran. We're back. Make sure to catch that. Or I hope you caught that last week because this is Monday, but. <laughs> yeah, I know that's back. So Tales of Teletran is back every Saturday. At 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, so that's 4 p.m. Pacific Time, the time I'm on. So, yeah, so yay. <laughs> but yeah, just chilling. Um, let's see what I got. Ended up getting that Black Series, uh, the Child, the Baby Yoda, Grogu, whatever you want to call him. Got that little spunky monkey <laughs> in my possession now. So yeah, I always wanted one. Missed out on them before, so thank you, thank you. So yeah, recently I was able to grab that carbonized Stormtrooper. So yeah, I got them online. So yeah, for a fair regular price basically. And crazy shipping, you know, the shipping. Shipping to Canada, another $25. <laughs> but once you bundle stuff together and such, I mean, it is what it is. And I, 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 I buy online, so I'm used to it. But yeah, carbonized Stormtrooper, happy to have him. Black Series, what a black hole to get involved in. <laughs> Now this one I was really looking forward to, um, the Carnor Jax, but it is mislabeled. It's not the real name of this guy, so yeah. But yeah, look at that. Just look at how cool that is. The art, especially on the front. I love these guards in the original show. They never did much, they just stand there in all red, but look, and look at him, he's got like body armor and all that. Sorry for the glare, but 
yeah super dope i might have to unbox this guy or do some sort of video on him because i haven't pff, i'm so happy if i would have missed out on this guy recently because i stopped collecting black series i would have been heartbroken this guy is hella dope even though he's mislabeled uh, what can you do but yes oh my god yes 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 <laughs> got some other mail today still gonna go pick up some other mail though <laughs> i'm just full of it aren't i <laughs> Boom. So there we go. Hunter, Black Series, baby. From the good, the good batch. From the good batch, yo. <laughs> From the bad batch, Star Wars new uh, Disney Plus show. Yeah. Really cool. Um, yeah. No, uh, yeah. I still haven't watched it. I want to watch it. Disney Plus, baby. I have Disney Plus. So I should get on watching that soon. I just, yeah, haven't had time really. I've been either working or working on stuff or planning stuff or out toy hunting. And then, yeah, I usually watch, like, you know, try to keep up with everyone's videos. And, you know, it's, it's crazy, man. It's There's so much to consume right now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely stoked to get that guy. Love these Bad Batch guys. <laughs> I also did find a Bo Katana at uh, Walmart the other day. Um, I was like a little rushed before work and I found her. So I was like, yes. <laughs> yeah, she looks really cool. The helmet comes off, obviously. There's her face, but cover up that woman's face. Put your helmet on. <laughs> they always look uh, a little strange. Like the helmets just look oddly a little big. But <laughs> I still really like this figure. So yeah, another figure. Don't sleep on this Bo-Katana. She is wonderful. Um, Yeah, like I said, I would have filmed it, but I was like 10 minutes before work and I was like, I should go check Walmart and look what I found. So yay for me. <laughs> Star Wars. Mm. Yeah, like I said, I was sick um, lately, wasn't able to go very many places, and yeah, finally was able to go to the comic shop and pick up what they had for me, so um, I grabbed uh, Empowered, I pre-ordered this, um, what is it, Embalm, how do you say it? <laughs> Omnibus Volume 2, so... But I love this Adam Warren, one of my favorite artists back in the day, made all those uh, dirty pair, like the American version, but it still looked like anime. He's one of the, not one of the, he's one of the, like the first to like make it really popularized um, back in the 90s. I'm doing like anime style stuff with, with um, you know, kind of American person drawing it. So there's people before him and stuff, but yeah, he's amazing. He just draws the female form so well. And ever since I had, saw his art, um, I was like obsessed. I was like, I want to be like that, especially the dark haired girl um, from Dirty Pair and stuff. Um, yeah, I just, I absolutely wanted to be like them. And I love his art. Um, I want to hunt down the first volume of this. I already have this third one on pre-order. The first one's hard to get, but I have the whole collection on uh, on the uh, the littler volumes of this, because this is like multiple volumes in one. So I have, and I also have a 9.8 graded um, empowered uh, comic. So I'll show that off quickly. No, I'm not sure if I've ever showed that, but I love Adam Warren. Oh my god, I'd love to meet him at a con sometime, get some stuff signed. Um, the man, yeah, this is like pretty intense too. This is not safe for work, you know, she gets tied up a lot. And yeah, it's it's really hot, but yeah, um, I love it, but I'm trashy, so there you go. But yeah, I also have this Empowered 9.8. The comics are a little uh, undersized, so they're a little smaller than normal. But yeah, you can see the cool art there. Yeah, no, it's just, it's such 90s flair. But um, I love it. I was so happy to get this. It wasn't too much money or anything, but um, yeah, I just, as an Empowered Adam Warren fan, this is a must-have. Um, super stoked to get back into him lately. Um, I got some of the Dirty Pair figures, and yeah, he's just an all awesome, amazing artist. Like I said, no one, I think he draws the female form so well. Like, ugh. Oh. It's mouth-watering. Ah, don't lick it, Danny. You could destroy the value. <laughs> Stack of comics to go through. So, yeah, hopefully, um, it's been pretty nice in my town lately. Um, you know, Celsius, 20-something degrees. Being a little warmer, though, because, like, my place faces, like, where the sun isn't very much. Like, yes, there's sun, but, yeah, so there's, there's not a lot of sun. So when you're under the deck in the shade, when it's only 20 out, it can be cold. But last year, I loved reading uh, comics out there. So Harley Quinn, number three. 
really cool. This is where she's kind of becoming a good guy. So yeah, definitely want to read that. Yeah, the new Wolverine. So I'm still following that a little bit. The new IDW Beast Wars, still following that. The art on it looks cool. That Dinobot looks pretty legit. So yeah, no, I'm, I, it's all right. Variant cover, Dinobot. Who doesn't love Dinobot? Transformers War of the Worlds. Like I said, this stuff doesn't interest me too much, but I'm just picking it up for now. <laughs> Trying to support my local comic shop. But yeah, other War of the Worlds variant cover, I guess. Another War of the Worlds, so there you go. Interesting. Another War of the Worlds, so there you go. Also following that new Power Rangers, so that's actually pretty good. So, um, new Power Ranger comics. If you're sleeping on those, you collect comics, um, I definitely <laughs> would look into it. Transformers Escape. So, yeah. Yeah, the new Black Cat. Mighty Morphin with Zordon and uh, Lord Zed. <laughs> Not Lord Z, it's Lord Zed, like Canadians say, eh? <laughs> Ooh, this one I like, Silk. You know, I love Silk, so that's really cool. And yeah, everyone's getting hyped on Carnage. So the, uh, this new Carnage comic, as uh, yeah, that other Carnage is coming out. So there's another variant. So Carnage, let there be Carnage. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, let there be carnage. New Venom trailer came out with carnage. Didn't really interest me at all, but I mean, I'm a 90s Spider-Man fan. Like, we'll never be happy, so <laughs> it is what it is. It's a good popcorn flick. Like, if someone wanted to go to the movie and just watch it and eat popcorn, I'm not going to complain. But inside, I'll be like, ah, where's the 90s at, babe? <laughs> See, that's about it for stuff I just kind of got in the mail or picked up or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm going to go. I think I have something at the post office. It's going to head over there today and then, yeah, show that off. And yeah, I guess that's it for now. But yeah, let's go to the post office. Got the mail. <laughs> yeah, just chilling in the Starbucks line. So there you go. Starbucks. Oh, you can see the little symbol up there, so. <laughs> I got a coffee, uh, picked up the mail, so yes, <gasps> what a day indeed late. <laughs> and then yeah, I'm probably going to hit up Toys R Us later, I'm not sure if I'll film though, I'll just see if they have anything, but I'll keep you posted on what's happening, but yeah, frick, I don't know man, just waiting in line for Starbucks, you know, the usual, and just trying to, yeah, I did my injection first in trans, <laughs> estrogen injection all by myself today, so that's an improvement. Still feel a little rocky though. I'm not sick anymore is necessarily, but I'm um, still just like a little off, you know, from all the changes in my body. So yeah, we'll see what happens. But yeah, I hope everyone's been good. Hope you guys have been finding stuff or collecting stuff or stuff's gone well for you. But yeah, all in all, just keep up the grind. Try to feel better. Keep you all posted. Want to do another Danny and Friends hangout stream soon. So we'll plan for that. And yeah, see where things go, but yeah, well, let's get this copy. Got the funky pink lights going. Got my Starbucks, it went well. Littler one today. <laughs> Too much food lately, I'm putting on the pounds. <laughs> Haven't been able to go to the gym, and you're forced to wear the mask while you're running at the gym. It's just not enjoyable, it's not fun. But I did get some mail. <laughs> they really taped this one. It's a spaceship, <laughs> but no one knows what it is. <laughs> no, you know what that is. If you're a Beast Wars fan, baby, look at that. Oh, wow, schnazzy, nazzy, fantastical. <gasps> it's black uh, agent, black agent, baby. Oh, <laughs> maybe this could be the thumbnail. <laughs> I don't know, there's, but. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, yeah, look at that. I mean, should we look at them? I'm going to send this to Enput. Let's see if Enput has something to, some input on it. Be like, look what I got, sir. Look what I got. Just talking about Enput and about his customs. Yeah, Ultra Marcus was telling me in the comments of that Sunstorm video. He's like, Daz, bro, take note. Hope you guys are paying attention or something like that. And I was like, oh, you know they're not. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, check out Enput's custom videos on his Seekers. They're outstanding. Like, yeah, they're just, wow. Jeez, good job, dude. Yeah, I just sent it to Enput, see what he says. 
But yeah, he's done such an amazing job with those customs. Like I said, I really like to show them off on my channel, have them on, because, you know, like, yeah, like you said, um, Hasbro's not taking note. They can't spend the money on the paint. Like, the guy's putting in so much hours in paint, so that's really cool. But yes, this is really cool as well. Russian Ravage. What a savage. <laughs> but yeah, let's check him out, too. Yeah, so TransArt made this. Get it, get it? Trans art, and there's some trans art on the cover. It's trans art. Get it? <laughs> but they they really do a real good artistic thing on the packaging. Oh yeah. Hmm. Look at that, son. Russian ravage in the flesh, in the plastic. <laughs> He's so cool. Two other feet right there, this long pole, two guns and hands. And look at that Russian ravage in the flesh. In the <laughs> so yeah, I'm super hyped. Um, yeah, this finally came in. Um, where did I get it? I got it from Chosen Prime? Chosen Prime, yeah. So, got it from Chosen Prime. So oh, I caught it. <laughs> Reflexes, like a little... But yeah, no, he's great, man. I don't want to mess him up or anything, but yeah, I'm so happy with this guy. I love when Ravage came back in the original Beast Wars show, and yeah, I think he, he even turns into his, like, Beast mode, but he doesn't turn into a tape, sadly. They should have maybe put a little tape in there with him, but overall, I'm super hyped on this figure. I don't know what the plastic's like in the feel. Um, this is something I should review, so... Maybe. But yeah, not sure what else is probably filmed something before I end this video, but we oh, yeah, have the input reply yet. Come on, man, reply already. Let's see what input has to say about the Russian Ravage. Decepticons <laughs> forever. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs>